What's up guys, Heat King here bringing you another manga chapter review on this week's Black Clover chapter I believe 326. So yeah, we're getting a cover page this week, uh, it's with Asta. Stronger than before, blacker than before, lead colour page, the 7th year anniversary celebration and 6th Magic Knight general election. So 7 years of Black Clover, that's crazy man. It's only been 7 years, huh. That's uh, <laughs> that's interesting actually. I thought I thought I thought it'd be less, but seven years, man. I remember I remember when this first started. Uh, 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 I think the manga, yeah, when it first started, and then the anime came, and people were just complaining. And that, and now it's like, no, this is one of the best freaking animes I've seen. It's one of the best mangas I've been reading. Like, this is this is great. And yeah, we go down. We get like the, the another. We get like the the, the the cover page for the chapter itself. You know, with with. with, uh, with Starting with not uh, Yami, Asta, Lieb, and uh, you know, and uh, the spirit, uh, you know, here and now they assemble rivals, friends. Great bloody thing here, like uh, chapter three twenty six, brothers. So yeah, brothers. The chapter is called brothers. Like I've been, I've been talking about this. I've been hyped about this moment when these two like, like you know, acknowledge themselves as brothers and that, and it, and it seems to be happening in this chapter, and it does indeed happen in this chapter. So yeah, we we left off with Lucifer pretty much owning everyone during during this fight. And we see you know, I think, about to go down, and he has to make the choice of like who he's gonna, you know, you know, save. And it's like, as you know, falls. Will the final attack on the Demon King come from the right or the left? And yeah, well, what happens? It seems because he's got two, he's got two Grimmoors now, and I think I don't know, I don't get what happens here. I don't know if he was supposed to save someone or not, but I think he teleports. I don't know if it's you know doing this as he as he goes down, but he teleports Nucked and Yami behind Lucifero, and they go for a double ganger combo magic attack so both of them seem to have like the same sort of ability you know both of them covered in darkness or devil union uh, power ability and they both got swords and they're both going for a strike behind lucifero it looks like it's about to hit everyone's holding their breath you've got that other demon above uh, uh, ultramar whatever he's or her name is watching this you know getting excited like oh is this it is this the hit is this gonna happen and no it doesn't it doesn't happen because lucifero grows two more arms from the back and punches them both through the ch through the stomach or the chest basically sorry for spitting it's it's getting excited guys uh so yeah yami and not just went down to the horror of Asta watching this and lucifero just looks at him and goes this is the end and he goes for a punch on on Asta, and then we see Leap Leap appear on Asta behind Asta, fully formed, and we get this moment, this the, these memories that Asta starts feeling from Leap, and it's Leap saying, "I'm sorry, Letitia," and Asta starts seeing all these memories that Leap has with this woman, this woman that he doesn't recognize, he doesn't realize is his mother, but he sees these memories of of Leap with her. Uh, he sees the happy times and he sees the sad times. He sees Lucifero when he took control and killed Letitia and he gets that realization, this realization that this whole time he sees his entire life story basically in, in seconds. Like he sees Leeb's life flashing before his eyes in these quick memories and he realizes, you know, what the hell was that? Letitia was killed and then he spent all those years inside the Grimoire. It's because he kept cursing devils that he gained the power of anti-magic. So yeah, things getting explained, things, you know, Asta realizing all of this, this connection. And then, you know, and then we cut to Leap himself having a monologue. In the end, I was no match for Lucifero. I hate him, but it's not just Lucifero. I will never forgive myself. If only I had magic, if only I never left the underworld. He's blaming himself for leaving, for getting her killed. If only I never met Lacita. She would have never died, and and he calls her mom. He's calling her mom. She was his mom to him. She was, you know, the mother he never properly had, or the mother that, ne you know, that he, if he did have, she never loved it. But here it is, and he he's crying out, and he's apologizing, and he's in his mind space. And then we get young little Asta with young little Leap there, and he's like, I had no idea when you were in this much pain. And, you know, I was the only, you know, he, he pretty much talks about how, he, you know, he was the only person in the world without magic and he had so many hardships. But, you know, you know, it's, it's because of those hardships that we met. You know, he's pointing that out, you know, your pain and anger became my strength, so thank you. You know, he's thanking, you know, Leap for that because it's true, you know, 
you know, if he didn't have magic, if he didn't go through all of that, he would have never met him. And in return, he wouldn't have had gotten all that help to go through all these trials, all these battles. And, you know, as he says, I'm really grateful to have met you. And now they're grown up, you know, they've gone from children to grown up now. And he's walking up to him alone. I can't do anything, but with you, I can fight. Together, we can do this. And Leib's just crying and, and he's listening to this at the same time. And he's coming towards him and he's offering his hand and he's getting flashbacks to that moment when Asta was like, you know, I, I want to be friends with you. And Lieb realizes that right now I am no longer alone. And we get this awesome panel with Asta, uh, with Lieb. Like, I think Lieb is just sort of coming out of his arm, maybe, out of his shoulder, like, like forming out of his shoulder. And it's like, uh, I don't know if he's helping him up, maybe, or not. But yeah, they're side by side together and both of them, both of them remark and say the same thing. Let's do this, brother. And, you know, Asta has no idea that that's his mom. He has no idea that this guy, or maybe he does, maybe in this very moment he's realized that maybe, I mean, or maybe it's just something he's saying, like, because he sees him as, as the brother he's never had, perhaps. Or maybe he has realized, maybe he has realized, oh, this woman was my mom. So therefore this guy is my stepbrother. Like, like he's maybe that's the realization because they both do say, let's do this, brother. It's both of them saying it. So it's acknowledgement that together now and Lucifer goes for that punch and he hits he hits a blade instead. He hits a blade and we see that Asta and Lieb have formed into a, into a devil, a new devil union, I think, together. And it's like and, and he replies, I don't give a damn if you're the king of devils. How dare you kill my partner's mother? Like so yeah, and we get this new form of Asta, I think he's got like multiple horns, I think, here now, like one, two, three. Four, five, six. I think he's got he's got like six horns, like two here, two here, one in the back, uh, one, one, two, three. Yeah, six, and there's one in the middle here. So like, it's it's crazy. It's crazy design, and the whole armor just forming around his body and that like, and you got the black ball symbol sticking out like on his vest there. Like, it's crazy. It's such a cool design. So yeah, the bond of the brothers brings forth a mount, a mount, a, a mighty counterattack. So yeah, we end this chapter with Asta very quickly learning about Lieb's story and both of them accepting each other as brothers. Now, I, I don't know if Oster realizes who Le Letitia was to him, but maybe he does, maybe he hasn't yet, or maybe he saw that, you know, he felt those feelings from Lieb, like that realization that, oh, wait a minute, like, she was my mom, like, my mom, because in that one chapter when we first saw Lieb, and when he accepted his friendship, you know, he looked at us and he's like, yeah, you are her son. Like, so surely, surely he has. Or if, or if he hasn't, he's not acknowledging it now. Maybe after this fight, Lieb's going to sit down and he's like, yo, I need to talk to you. This woman was your mom, by the way. And it's like that realization, maybe he's not saying anything now because like, what will happen if he tells him that, oh yeah, this woman who was your mom gave you up for adoption. You know, he, he's the reason she's dead. Like, you know, you got to kill this guy. But um, I'm just curious if they're going to have that conversation or not. But yeah, the... Uh, They've powered up. I don't know what people are going to say. They're going to be like, oh, well, Lucifer is going to get his ass kicked now. And, and, and that's a like, terrible villain. But I think what needs to happen now with this, because I think this is the final part of the fight now. I think we've got like maybe one or two more good chapters of this fight left until it ends. Until, and then we can continue on with moving forward with the story. But uh, I think what needs to happen now is that Lucifer needs to get wounded. He needs to get wounded and he needs to run away. Because remember, this guy is only at 50% of full power and yet he's managed to do all this crazy stuff, basically. He's taken it serious now. He's trying to kill these guys. He's already wounded Nut and Yami. We, we don't know what that whole, you know, he, he, they've got holes in their chest at this point. So what does that mean? Is one of them going to die? Is one of them going to have to die, sacrifice the other for that? Like, what, what does that mean? What's going to happen? And what I think needs to happen at this point is that, you know, Asta and Lieb have to get a hit in enough that it hurts Lucifer enough for him to run away. To basically run away and recover, basically. And uh, at least for him to attempt to recover 100% of his magic. And something needs to happen to Asta and Lieb for them to get wounded enough that they might have to go and train further or get healed at, at a new place, perhaps. So for the next arc, that, that's what that's what needs to happen. There needs to be consequences to this fight that leads into all of these characters having to recover and grow stronger as well. With the realization that Lucifer, you know, he's out in the real world now and he's going to be doing whatever he can to get all of his power back fully, 100% before he comes for his own counter-attack essentially. And in terms of the characters that have been hurt and beaten, 
I guess maybe one character has to die, who I don't know, but you know, best case scenario, someone needs to, at least I think maybe if Yami or not, or someone else, someone needs to get hurt to the point where they can't recover anymore to the point that they cannot be a magic knight. So there needs to be some sort of consequence maybe with that. Maybe some of the captains who got beaten, like maybe one or two of them are gonna be like, I can't fight anymore, uh, my bones are broken or whatever, magic can't heal this ever again, I quit. Like, that's the consequence. Something like that needs to happen in order for Lucifero's character as a villain to have some sort of, you know, value. No one needs to die. Technically speaking, no one needs to die. But someone or more characters need to get hurt to the point of no recovery. That you know the the the, the, the lifestyle that they've been needing, although the, the you know the career it needs to end in, in, in that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Sort of like what they did with Fullmetal Alchemist when uh, uh what's his name got got hit by Lost in the back and he became paralyzed and he had to quit. And it wasn't until the very 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 last chapter basically that it became possible that oh we can heal him you know, later on. But before all of that, you know, he, he had it. He had to quit. He had to give up. He couldn't continue with his career anymore. But he still helped out in small ways. So maybe something like this can happen here. You know, Lucifero, you know, his value as a villain needs to needs to be addressed. You know, this guy needs to like do something enough that okay, he did this good. But yeah, overall, this was a good chapter. The action moment that we got from Yami and Nock was pretty cool until they got <laughs> beaten. And the moment of Asta and Deep, emotional and beautiful. It's a quick, brilliant way of just getting through to Asta everything that Leap feels. This whole sort of like flashing, you know, light flashing before his eyes and, and just feeling that as his partner, as his brother right now, that acknowledgement. So yeah, very good way of doing it, of addressing it and getting it out there. And now we can just sit back and go right into this final phase of this fight. But yeah, I, I like this chapter, it was good, it was bloody brilliant, it was better than last week's where it was just sort of very chaotic and confusing and not being able to address what was happening, but yeah, brilliant, good chapter, loved it, can't wait to read and see more, so yeah, that's, that's my review for this chapter guys, very short, very quick, to the point, so yeah, as always guys, remember to like and subscribe, share, comment down below, whatever you want to do, up to you, and as always, I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.